it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm going to be talking about Monsters She Wrote, The Women Who Pioneered Horror and Speculative Fiction by Lisa Kroger and Melanie R. Anderson. This is a non-fiction book all about exactly what it says on the cover and it's told in a historical way. So we start off with Margaret Cavendish who was writing during the 17th century and we work our way through many other authors writing in different time periods through to the contemporary authors of today. The book is split up into eight chapters and each chapter starts off with an overview of that time period and authors within that era and then it features a handful of specific authors talks a little bit about their lives and their works. Along with these featured authors, it also mentions other authors as recommended if you like their work. I'm a big fan of reading horror written by women, so I was really intrigued by this book and I knew it was a subject I wanted to learn more about and I also picked it up in the hopes that it would introduce me to some new authors, which indeed it did, so it definitely delivered on that front. One of my favourite things about this book is the historical nature of it, in that it goes from older authors to more recent ones, and I liked how that gave a bit more context to these authors and their works. So not only was it enjoyable to read, it was very informative. I really liked the layout of this book, Admittedly, the illustration style isn't my cup of tea, but the design and layout of the book overall I did really enjoy. This is an excellent book, it's very well put together, and I rated it 4 stars out of 5. I did have a few foibles with it that I just wanted to touch on. One is that I feel at times the authors they talked about strayed maybe a little too far from horror and speculative fiction for my liking and of course not every piece of work is going to fit neatly into one category a lot of horror does cross over into other genres and vice versa so the categorization of some of these authors I might not necessarily agree that they fit within horror and speculative fiction enough to warrant being included in this book, but I realised that that is personal opinion. Another thing was that there were a couple of times when it felt like they were trying a bit too hard to fit an author into a specific chapter's theme, and it didn't always work. One thing I did find frustrating with this book is that there is no author index. There is an index for the titles of works, and there's also an index for subject. But other than the authors that are featured, and therefore mentioned in the contents pages, you have no way of tracking down the other authors that are mentioned and recommended, which seemed like a really odd oversight. I'm not sure if there's a reason for not having an author index or what, but I found it very strange. I know I spent a bit of time on talking about the negatives, and I don't mean this to be a negative review in any way. Overall, this was an excellent read. I absolutely flew through it and really enjoyed it, and I'm really glad to have a few new authors to check out. This does include a lot of famous people that you've probably heard of, like Mary Shelley, and Shirley Jackson, Daphne du Maurier. I personally was really pleased to see authors like Kathy Koja and Ruby Jean Jensen featured in here. That's awesome. I think of the authors that I haven't read before, I'm most excited to read some of the gothic stories, the ghost stories, and the pulp fiction. There are also a couple of YA horror authors mentioned in here, including Diane Ho, who wrote The Fun House, so represent. And although I would have loved to see more of my favourite YA horror authors mentioned, I feel like that probably deserves a book all of its own. Hint, hint, if anyone wants to give me a publishing deal there, I'm all over it. But in all seriousness, this is quite a mind-boggling task to undertake. I feel like so much time and effort must have gone into this book. 
the research and the reading and the writing is yeah a feat in itself and I think the end product is something the authors should really be proud of. I would definitely recommend checking this out if the subject matter interests you. Like I say, it is a really well put together book and very engaging and informative read and one that I really enjoyed. I rated it four stars out of five. I really hope this book will encourage more readers to seek out horror and speculative fiction written by women. If you are new to my channel and have just stumbled upon this review video, then I mostly talk about horror here and I do have a series on my channel called Nightmare Queens where I talk about vintage horror from the 1970s, 80s and 90s written by women so if that is of any interest to you then please do check those videos out it's something I have really enjoyed doing and definitely plan to continue doing so. So those were my thoughts on Monster She Wrote let me know if you've read this one or if you're thinking about picking it up Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!